As a black woman, I interpret boundaries to mean knowing what's best for you um, and choosing that above what others would think is best for you just so that you can set your life at a pace that gives you peace, that gives you um, a lot of harmony with yourself. It's being able to be vulnerable with yourself about what you need most and trusting that the people around you will accept that. And if they don't, that's worth that's not worth sticking around for. I do believe boundaries are essential to holistic well-being because you're being honest with yourself. You're being honest with others in your life um, and when they are respected you find yourself in living a life where everyone around you recognizes where your limits are at and definitely respects that and it also is about you respecting yourself enough to communicate what you need most from those around you which can only navigate to a life where you feel at peace and at whole with who you are and what you've created for yourself. Creating healthy boundaries looks like accepting yourself for who you are and not trying to expect yourself to live a life that isn't true to what you feel is right for you. And it's only choosing those around you who will see that with you as well. Some of them will recognize it in you before you recognize it in yourself. And even if they don't, they will definitely respect it and want nothing but for you to value that in yourself. And when you do that for yourself, you definitely encourage others to start to ask themselves, what is a healthy boundary for me and how can I best create it? And they in turn teach you to respect theirs as well. And now you're in holistic you're in a holistic cycle with those around you and with yourself now. The openings that boundaries have created in my life has is definitely rest. I can't really create when I'm feeling burnt out or when I'm feeling as if everything is moving at a faster pace than I can hold on to. So whenever I say no to more things, whenever I only say yes to things that build onto my life, it allows me to be seen by the right people and the right opportunities and they definitely flow at a much better pace. And I enjoy what I'm creating a lot more when I'm having fun with it. Because you know, you can't guarantee that the things that you set out for are gonna work out the way you want them to. But if you're not enjoying yourself, then it's not worth it in the end. But so long as I set room to be at peace, to be rested, to have fun, um, and to connect with people that I love being around, it all turns out to be worth it because there's so much beauty in the making as much as there is in the achievement. My intentions for 2022 is to finish what I started in 2021. It was a year of starting and trying a lot of new things and being very vulnerable in being myself for the first time in my adult life. And I think all of the mistakes and all of the stumbles that I found myself in in 2021 have set up for a much better 22, where I feel so much more confident in myself because I survived through a lot of things that I thought would have crushed me. And I just really like who I am more than I did last year and the years before. And I think all of that will create somebody who wants to see the vision that I have inside of me come to pass. Thank you.